Hey guys, so welcome back. Um, this week's video is going to be about me getting prepared for the market. My second market. Uh, so I have signed myself for a three day market and I'm freaking out here. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. Uh, for those who know me, uh, I have just done one market. I'm a complete and utter newbie. Um, and yeah, for those who are new, I have three kids. I'm like a full-time mom and I don't know, I can't uh, have enough time for, for making enough things for the market. And that's what's scaring me the most, that I might go now to the three-day market and I might not have enough things to sell. Uh, but yeah, I still have some time. So today is 19th of uh, October and the market is on the 3rd of November. 4th of November and 5th of November, <laughs> November. so from Friday to Sunday. Uh, on uh, Friday it's only evening market, it's from 6 to 10. Uh, Saturday is the full day from 12 to 10 and then on Sundays from 12 to 6 in the evening. Like it's a big big farm place, farming house, I don't know what that is. I have never been there but it's in a nearby city, like around 20 minutes with a, with a car to get there. Uh, I hope that uh, uh, my man is looking now for the for the car uh, for us for our family. He has recently, yeah, uh, gotten a driving license. We are now using his like work car, but yeah, it's not that good. And yeah, we are about to get a new car for the family, so it's kind of exciting. And if we do, then it will be so much easier to go anywhere and for him to help me out, you know just to be going to the markets so yeah uh, well I am uh, doing my best to crochet every single moment literally but the days just pass so quickly and there are hundreds of these little things that you need to do I would say even thousands of little things that you have to do when you have kids and yeah you have to cook you have to look after the house you have to clean after everybody and before you know you just like the day has just passed and yeah but i do sit every evening till around two o'clock when i'm knocking out then i'm then yeah i i finished yesterday the jellyfish uh and i'm gonna tell you more about the set when i get home when i have finished one of the displays then i will tell more about how i imagine the whole thing to be how i want to present myself in the market yeah so let's see how that goes market is about the fairy tales fairy tale wonderland and i don't know why because this one is a uh, like um how does it called in english like a farmer's place they have their own big shop there and they are like a farm around you know they sell their own vegetables and fruits and whatever else there i have not even checked their website i just know that it's in a nearby city so not so far away and um and I just got uh, got distracted by the name fairy tale market. How can you not like something like that? It's just like something you fall in love at once. So yeah, I am absolutely, absolutely excited, but also very, very scared. Uh, I I don't know if I can manage to to make so many things that I would be like peaceful knowing that i have enough things there <laughs> i'm so super scared i wish i had someone to give me some more advices though so by my stand uh, the only thing i know is that i'm gonna have the long table which is like you know for the beer uh, beer gardens or how do you call it um they have these well i'm so sorry oh I'm so lazy oh, so sorry uh <laughs> um 
they have these long tables they are like wooden tables with the metal legs and they are like 50 centimeters wide or so and 220 centimeters long so they're long and narrow but uh, she said the rest of the things we take ourselves the chairs and whatever else we need she very like in every email we have corresponded she has mentioned that i definitely need to dress up appropriately for for the event like in some medieval costume or some fairy tale costume or whatever something you know of that sort so i have yeah i have ordered a clothes for myself and for my oldest daughter because i'm thinking she might come and help me as well um so let's see how that turns out because i have never worn anything like that and i'm a pretty big size girl so i don't know um if that thing is gonna be good for my body type but we're gonna see I'm, I'm i'm really waiting for that one and for and if my little daughter comes as well she also has like a small medieval princess dress or something so that, that we can use as well so uh, and then i bought um oh, i have left it in the other room kind of like um like a rest around them with the flowers around the head going and they have lights on so i was thinking especially in the when it starts getting so dark uh, so fast dark uh, and especially in the first evening when it's going to be from 6 to 10 when it's really already dark so it would be nice that we would be spotted at once with the uh, shining things around our our heads yeah so that's the that's about the how we're going to plan to look like um now about the display so i have this long table and i have these um maybe you you can see it in the background this is the shelves, uh, like a small sh shelves for them. They are usually used for the kitchen to put under the sink for the chemicals and this kind of thing. <laughs> but last time I took them with me and I absolutely liked how they are. They can be put like in the previous place where I was in the in the in my first market. I used only like first level and the second level and I never ended up more. But I brought them back home and I thought where do I put it? And I started putting it uh, and I thought I can mad more. I can more make three levels. Theoretically I can go on making more, but um well I don't think that's going to be a good idea because it, it will be above the you know uh the customer's uh eye level so it will be like kind of weird right so yeah i'm gonna stick only to this one not higher either two or three so they are like uh 40 centimeters wide and i have 220 the table and i figured out if i had like around uh, four of these kind of a sets that would be like 120 and then I have some other small things and I want to put something in the middle, like where I can actually talk and communicate with customers. Because last time I was missing, I was like a, over the things I was trying to talk and it, it felt like somehow weird. Um, yeah, and that's in the middle. I would like to a place where, where, yeah, where I can communicate with somebody, give out the things that they buy, uh, money. And also to put a sign with my Instagram profile, um, this uh, QR code, and maybe leave some nice message there or invitation to order uh, any customized toys if they want and are interested in to, yeah, like something like that. So that's what I want to do in the middle. And then from the both sides, I would be putting these ones. I don't know, either I put two, two on each side or three and two on, on the other side. I'm still thinking how much I will be able to make because I... So today is what? Today is 19th of October already. <laughs> Has just started like 45 minutes ago. So uh, yeah, I still have some time and that is something that I keep on telling myself that I still have time. Um, so I just wanted to, you know, take you with me to, um, to share my ideas, how I want to prepare without having like any experience and all the thing. The only experience I've got is this little uh, market that I had, uh, but there's really, the people were so few there, just, I don't know, barely anyone knew about the market. And from the YouTube, you know, where I watch, watch videos of uh, some of you guys who do the markets, I just like watch and learn. But practical experience is almost up to the zero. <laughs> so today I took out the, the box with the whole things that I have. I have left from the previous market and 
some things that I have been just putting aside when I have finished with them. And I realized that I don't have that much and I'm just like so, so scared. And the worst part is like I keep on checking these uh, small patterns, which are like everybody's so excited about, you know, having these no so like small little projects and stuff like that, which you can build up so fast and just cover all your table with them. I don't know. I'm not kind of that kind of a type of a person because um, most of those projects seem to be like just to, to fill in the space. I don't want that. I want that my toys better are less, but they're actually something that I've really worked on. And yeah. So anyway, let's not go into that. But um, let me see. Let me just go on doing the things what I'm doing. So one of the themes that I'm going to work now, and this is stand which is in the background, um, is about going to be about water theme. I want to make like even a sign that it is going to be a sea world and everything connected with the sea. So the, the whole idea is that, you know, the sea comes into mind about the little mer mermaid because we have to stick to some maybe fairy tale. I, I felt like sticking to the mer little fairy tale, like, um, I don't know how to say it, uh, the idea of having all the things I bring somehow connected with the fairy tales. So, um, as in my last video, I told you that I have this, uh, I have purchased this uh, amazing mermaid pattern and I have made the toy for my daughter. And now I have been working again on them. Mm, let me just show you how what I have made. I have one more made. So I have made another one. And this one looks even more adorable than the previous one, I have to admit it, because I use a different color uh, color uh, yarn for the hair and she looks, uh, reminds me more of the Ariel from The Little Mermaid. So, and um, I kind of, when they were just hanging like that loosely, I didn't like it. Uh, so I took two braids from one side, two braids from the other and tied it in and then sewed them together. And to cover the place where I sewed them, I added some sea stars. So I don't know, I just love how it has turned out. I'm now working on the other one. <laughs> so there's one bold, bold mermaid, <laughs> but I am working on the hair. So, and I have three, uh, just to show you that I'm not lying about it. I have three more tails. So all together I'm planning, so sorry, something fell down. I'm planning to have five mermaids in total. Let me see that how that one goes out. So I'm like really wondering only about the pricing. You know, I have heard all these, all those things, how you price and everything. But, you know, one thing is when you actually look at the toy and wonder how much a person would be willing to pay for it. Because my, I'm interested that they are bought <laughs> from me, not that they would be just standing there. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm just like don't understand what to do. <laughs> How much could I price such a such a such a mermaid? I know. So apart that, um, so I'm planning to put them in the middle middle section. The mermaids. I you see that there's no background for the for these white shelves, and I was like, oh, I was killing myself thinking what to put in the back. I was thinking maybe to put some kind of a cardboard or something or, or something to add to it and then maybe to paint it. <sighs> I do feel that it would be great, but I don't know. I don't have time to be thinking where to get the boards and to be like painting and everything. Uh, I today came across simply an excellent idea. I took the yarn. Um, I will later show it to you to you now it's it doesn't look that good what but but the idea is I just took and differently strapped around the yarn to have like to to make the the doll to sit in and then I'm planning that there I will just wrap it now and uh, here and there with the lights and it will be like in the background of the mermaids there will be some lights in the middle section so and I then um I was thinking what else from the sea water theme and I first thing that came to my mind is that I need my jellyfish remember guys I shared you with the jellyfish that I made these green ones with the long long testicles there so all of them are sold and I don't have any left and I'm very upset because I don't have not about that they are sold now I'm very happy but they were made from that good yarn that I have been like praising 
uh, and I don't have it anymore. And um, and I felt like I want to have it light green or light blue. There's no other option. And the only blue that I have is like baby snuggle. And the baby snuggle doesn't have that shine. It's yeah, snuggly and soft and nice, but it doesn't have the shine. But nevertheless, I made this kind of a, uh, this kind of a uh, jellyfish with a white dress. I have made all together four. I just finished the last two. Yesterday I made two, today another two. And then I thought, what about me giving something something to brighten them up? They look kind of empty. <laughs> and I decided to do something completely crazy. So like, I what I'm also gonna be um, bringing with me, I'm gonna be these little octopuses and they have these uh, uh, speckles on, or how do you call it, dots on them. And I thought, why not put something on these ones? And then I was thinking, okay, but what color should I put them? Uh, and I don't know why the first thing came into my mind that it must be something light pink. Light pink colors, and so put like three dots. I'm gluing them, by the way. I am not even ashamed to admit it. I'm gluing them because it, it's. I don't see the point of all this. And then I thought, why not go crazy and completely wild over this and add up not only like that, but add up different colors um like like if you can see light pink light yellow or, uh, 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 and like 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 a beige or something and then they would be like three different colors and they look so many so completely different they like brighten up and yeah that's what i'm working on now by the way so i'm trying to to show the ends of the of these dots and to glue them and i'm gonna go to sleep but uh, to finish up, what else I've got? So, and I want to put them in the top shelf there and by the, like, by the sides so that these uh, all ten testicles would be like hanging like a curtain for the mermaids. Uh, yeah, which would be sitting below. And I'm planning like have two, two jellyfish from one side, two jellyfish from the other side. And then I thought, who is going to be sitting in the middle? And I've realized that, uh, well, I have to make something for the boys, right? And what is C topic? It's pirates. Uh, so um, I have been looking for different patterns and uh, I have found a couple. I'm not sure that I like <laughs> all of them, but and how um, how time consuming they're going to be. I'm not very sure about that one. So let's see. Let's see how that goes. Which one am I going to stick in the end? But yeah, there was idea that I would have to like uh, pirates two pirates for some boys maybe who like to have something like that so by the sides would be jellyfish and in the middle there will be mermaids sitting so then there is left the last floor initially i wanted to put these ones on in uh but i realized i am gonna be putting i have bought a like little wooden crate or i'm gonna be putting some small items which are gonna be just the same so i have to make a few more i've got only two for now so I'm going to make like, uh, I need six all together. Yeah, I like them a lot. I just don't know if I should leave them like that or should I put some keychain to them? I'm not sure because um, around the second floor, you, maybe you can, if you can see, I don't think you can see, there are like four hooks hanging. Uh, this is meant for these little guys. I have four of them from that previous market that I was making. Uh, I'm going to turn that, these ones I'm definitely turning into the, to the keychains. I have gotten something like that. I don't know uh, how good they are, how good they are not. But I was thinking to hang these small things like in front of them. And then by the side also make from these ones something that they can be hooked out. Of. They can be hooked to anything. They can, with this, this specific hook, you can attach them to anything. Not only keys, but I don't know, bags or whatever. So, yeah, so I have four of these little ones to turn into keychains three little jellyfish as well and from the water theme is that uh so that i then i don't have anything in the middle uh, in the lower part and i want to work on the seahorses and um and the turtles and in the specific colors because i have bought specifically for them these two colors i like a lot turkeys with a pink like real real juicy colors juicy pink juicy turkeys so i'm going to use them to to make those turtles and uh seahorses 
and and i don't know why but i felt like i need also two crabs by the side standing and guarding down there i don't know from the uh, i wanted to find some sebastian type of a thing from the little mermaid but well i it, it was not that easy to find that but i found another pattern for the crab you can see this one in the um, it's a free pattern i came across it and i thought oh it's so nice <laughs> and um, i had some green um, some red yarn still lying around which i used for the spider-man remember last video i showed you the spider-man so but uh so i used my last bits of the red and the last bits of the blue and i made the body here's the body <laughs> based on the pattern it's very simple just two parts and then you sew them together but the problem is i had a little bit uh, red yarn left and i wanted to make the eyes and I could not. I was like, I understand what, what needs to be done. But with a velvety yarn, it's too hard to, to make it look nice. I was like, I don't know how many, seven eyes I made, eight. I gave up eventually. I said, no, let me just, maybe some other time I try again. But it will be good. Now I know that definitely I wouldn't have two crabs. But I would like to finish at least this one. Because basically there's left only the, the eyes. I have to put some straps here around and these testicles yeah so let's see when the red yarn comes i can give it a try because i go i don't have any more any red color so this is what i'm planning to do on this specific display with the water seed theme so let's see how this one goes hey guys so it's the next night and yeah everybody's sleeping it's like almost one o'clock at night i knocked out with my little one as well and yeah i just woke up and i told myself i need to get up and i need to do something so i just wanted to share that um yesterday i was in a shop no the day before yesterday i was in the shop this is like a nearby store there's everything clothes and like household stuff and um some i don't know blankets and I don't know children's stuff whatever else so and i came across these kind of small crates they're pretty cheap like one euro or something uh yeah and they're absolutely adorable i like the size of it and initially i bought them for the bees to stack some bees inside so i don't have enough bees and i'm not working on them right now but then i thought why not put some other things inside there uh, that are like um like small uh easy to make items which would be like separately going so and what i did if you remember i made these kind of octopuses octopuses from my previous market um i was like they didn't sell any and but i do like them so much and they're so easy to build and i don't know they're just little cushly things and my daughter was carrying around uh one of them um attaching them with these uh like hooks like a chain hook she would attach to the bag or something so this is an option but i thought let me spice and up them a little bit so i made these kind of dots for them and i think they changed the look completely they make it more and more interesting to look at so with the three dots like this made another one like this so and i decided that i would keep them like like this in the in the crate <laughs> like peeping down from the from the uh, through here like <laughs> so i'm gonna be putting something under there so maybe it will rise them up a little bit higher so that they would be you know you know maybe better seen but the idea is to be putting three in here two and then the last one like a pyramid pyramid when i say pyramid i don't know so i have uh one more here these are all from the previous time so I've got already four, only two are with the dots. And then I yesterday I made another one, or today, I don't remember, yesterday. I made another one, and I don't know why. It's so much bigger than the, than the ones I made before. I don't know, have I been using another size hook? So maybe because I don't believe my tension will be the, as drastic as that. So I'm, I'm walking on the last one here. Oh, I'm walking on my last one here just needs the eyes and everything and then there will be on top one more so i'm going to be keep making these kind of crates i have two more one i'm going to fill uh, with the bees 
I have only two left so I have to make some more like four pieces and then I have some mushrooms they're gonna be in the third crate and I'm thinking maybe to add up because there are only four small mushrooms and they're not filling the whole space but I really like this kind of small crates uh, I really like this idea so let me fill this one up this is what I want to do tonight and I want to start uh, if I if I have strength after finishing this I want to start making the seahorses that's my plan because I have been postponing it postponing it and I didn't do it for the previous market but I know they are so adorable and cute with the turquoise in pink so I just have to make at least two so yeah let's start doing all that <laughs> Hey guys, um, I want to also share something that I'm like a little bit confused about. Basically, in one of the previous videos, I mentioned that I had bought some, some weird yarn, which I was so happy at that point. It was kind of this kind of very flood. It's not a chenille. It's not, uh, what's it called? Wait, let me just shift this thing aside. Otherwise, too dark. So, like, um... I think it's like from the towels that are made. <laughs> I don't know what kind of what kind of a specific yarn is this, but it's um, soft candy yarn. What is that? I have no idea. But basically, it's not like chenille yarn that I have been using. So I have this kind of, a, and I have this kind of a two two these like a fifty gram uh, uh, skein and two of these. And then I had another one, um, I had a big, big like this one, and I don't like them. I, they were lying around and I had no idea what to do with them, but I don't like them. I don't want them to be in my house anymore <laughs> because they're taking so much space. And uh, why are they supposed to be taking space when I can just like get rid of them? But I'm not going to throw them out, right? So I was thinking what to do. And so I was asking my daughter, what can I do from this kind of a small, like small something that I can sell? Um, the first thing came into my mind was the octopus, but I have already octopuses made and, and I thought like, why more? It's just like, what's wrong? They will think I'm obsessed with octopuses or something. So, and then she said, my daughter said something about the bees and I thought, okay, let me just give it a try. It's like, what, 20 minutes and I'm done. And, uh, I did make yesterday a bee. This is the bee that I made. <laughs> from this kind of yarn and I added of course the keychain because otherwise I don't I don't see the point of it um, it's a very little one it's just like I made some blush but you can't see that blush I guess so good because it just disappears in the color the eyes a little bit wide by the sides and like a smirky smile which my daughter didn't approve but I said no I, I, li I like it <laughs> so the wings I don't know and I was thinking should I make more or oh, what else am I supposed to do with these, this kind of a yarn? I don't know literally what else to make it. But I feel like if I'm going to make something that I don't need to waste so much time in it, like just quick, quick some projects and throw it in a box of uh, like a, in the small crates that I have bought, maybe it's not going to be so bad. What if even if I sell one, it will pay off the goddamn skin price or something? Because I don't know what possessed me to buy them in the first place. I know because they are so such a cute colors, right? And soft and sweet. And from this one, and then I had this one, and these are two. Uh, oh no, I have only one. Nay, I had two one hundred gram uh, skeins, so a little bit more. And I was thinking what to do. So the only thing that got into my mind is to make a heart. So I made one. Now I'm working on the other heart. So like I'm gonna have, and I think there will be three. Uh, I could I can make three all together. And I was thinking maybe I should just add up some wings white and then I don't know maybe just some kind of a cute note and that's a lot nice like a gift small gift idea what you can give to somebody and I'll put them separately and just I want to see um, if I can pay off uh, the money that I have used to spend for this yarn maybe I can get it back at least a little bit and at least I will have an empty space on my yarn yarn uh, this uh, what's it called shelf because you know uh, I have ordered some more to come because I don't have skin tones anymore left and uh, they're gonna come uh, they were supposed to come yesterday they didn't come so I'm hoping maybe today still or then on Monday and yeah I don't have space where to be putting them so yeah I'm trying to get rid of all the yarn that I've got and let's hope that I will be able to sell some and get some money back so yeah just keep letting you update so it's 10 minutes to 3 very late 
but I just finished my octopuses and I need to share them with you. Just a moment. Now, this is what I what it looks like. I have finished adding the dots and that's how they look like. Pretty cute, right? But there's a problem, guys. I don't know what to do about it. If I just shake a little bit, they fall off. They are not standing securely. Like this way, it's okay. But to add up the last one, which I was having, it's like literally, it's okay. It may be not. I don't know. I If I have to be all the time be fixing them on the display, it will be kind of messy, right? But other than that, I think they look so pretty cute. Hey guys, which are they are down below? <laughs> I really have to put something underneath to make them a little bit higher so they would be also popping out. So that's that. I'm going to now work on the seahorse. Uh, I'm going to use this specific pattern. Oh wait, let me show you. Uh, this is the free pattern from Amigurumi today. I have used it before with the ones I made. So I'm going to stick to the same pattern just to be on the safe side. So yeah, let me get on with that then. So um, yesterday I was trying to get rid of some yarn, which I don't want to have anymore in my home. And I was trying to find different small things that I can make out of them. And then I had this kind of a big yarn. It's like more than 100 there was inside. I think it was like 200 or so if not even more so i don't like this kind of a texture of yarn as well it's not my it doesn't feel like 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 any yarn i have been working with it's kind of stiff rather and it requires a very big size hook and i'm not used to that so i really want to get rid of it and i was like thinking like, um, what can i make from this kind of a yarn i really have no idea what can i possibly make out of it uh so and i was like the only thing that came into my mind is wait i have not finished it i'm just working on it but i felt like i have to share it with you i have i have never made a single snake i have never made a, my myself any snake and i thought let me just use it what if somebody gets because I, yesterday i was well i was working on the other things i was watching the youtube and there was one girl who was also like she got some kind of great radiant color and it just, uh, she, as soon as she put it on the table, it was gone and immediately, like, uh, yeah, it was sold out at once. So I feel like also need have some snake. If it will go, it will be great. It will be like, uh, that I have gotten rid of the yarn that I don't want to have anymore on my shelf. And at the same time, I would earn some money to just, yeah, to cover the bill. So let me finish and see how much I can make it. Hey guys. I need to share this absolutely magical moment with you. It's Tuesday, 24th of October, a little bit after 10. I have just come back home and guess what? I'm completely and utterly alone. The feeling is, I can't even describe the feeling. I know, I know, I know mamas, only you can understand me at this point. When you have been having someone who is constantly clenching onto you and two little souls have been doing that, being now alone. Oh. I mean, it's kind of so I was getting set out without the little one with my uh, but with my youngest daughter to the kindergarten. Uh, the little one was taken by the papa to the daycare mom and I was supposed to go for one hour to the kindergarten to do some crafting with my daughter. And not having the little one, I was like confused. Huh? What do I take? Do I take what backpack? What do I put in the backpack? I have nothing. Oh, I don't have the little one. So I, I can just like go like this keys forward and off I go. Oh, it's a beautiful feeling. It's like confusing, but beautiful at the same time. I really hope that now that it's like this, that he can stay there like at least for three hours at the daycare mom. Then my daughter is in the kindergarten then I have the possibility at least two hours peacefully sit and crochet without being disturbed, pulled or something. So let me tell you what I did yesterday. <laughs> I messed up. I thought I need to have bears in my life. I was thinking if I would have like mama bear, papa bear and some little bears that I can easily make, I'll be very happy. That's exactly what I need. But guess what? I'm not good at making bears. I cannot make a goddamn bear look look nice. I don't know. The face is not... Oh, it's so hard. Basically, I found this pattern. It's a free pattern. I thought, let me give it a try. It looks so cute there. 
Ah, of course, the colors are not the same. The yarn is different, but it has turned out. I don't know what is. It, it doesn't look like a bear. And <laughs> I'm so ashamed. And I, I don't want to like throw it out because a lot of yarn has been used and a lot of polyfill. But let me show him. It's not finished, but it looks like this. It looks like this a bear teddy bear. So what does it need? First of all, I need to redo the nose. Yesterday I was doing and it has not been so good. I have to redo the nose again. Though I have done it like three times. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I have to like, I guess, pull harder. And it has to have a nice scarf around it. I didn't understand in the pattern, pattern how they make this scarf. They have been doing it differently. I don't know. So I just want to put like, um, I make a, this wide uh and then uh do it uh like a small single crochet and in the back loops like as if you would be making the pumpkin yeah but it would give be giving like a scarf right like a and it would be more flexible and then i would bend it down sew a button and i think it would might help a little bit to look the better um, to make the better a uh, bear look better uh, what I want to say is when I was making this one, it's supposed to be like a long sweater, but it doesn't look that good. I wish I would have made one or two rows with this dark one, like as if the trousers. And it's a pity that I didn't, I w had it in my mind, but it was too late when I, I just didn't do that. Uh, I would have done it in um, front loops. Yeah, most likely. Or done it in a back loop. I don't know. Basically, I would make a nice ridge. So that it would actually pop out so that it's not this changing place. Otherwise, it looks kind of plain and simple. With a nice little edge, uh, it would have been more better. Like a real pulley, it would have looked. So basically, I don't like him that much. But I'm, I'm so, I have already invested so much in you. And you look so sad. And he's like, come on, you have to finish me. So I have to finish him. And I was thinking to myself, if I could make another one like this, but like Mama Bear, this could be a Papa Bear, and then there would be Mama Bear. And then I have to find some simple pattern with the small little baby bears. And that would be like the from the Goldilocks like themed things. I don't know. But I'm scared if I start making the little bears, I, I might just waste the time and they would not look good at all. So, but anyway, that's that's about the bear. And then the other thing that I have been in my working on are my seahorses. I have made two seahorse buddies, right? I had to redo these uh, these ones because I I was filling a little bit with the stuffing, and then later on when I bent it, like rolled it in, it was coming out. So I had to redo uh, for one. And then yesterday I finished the other one. I have made all the necessary things that to attach it to the to the like the snout and and this whole thing in the back so and then uh, for, so from exactly one one uh yarn you can make one skein of yarn like this you can make two seahorses and the necessary details uh what you need to add up for them so right now i have like one hour and i'm going to be making the seahorses because i want to turn uh then uh, continue with um turtles later on so that's my plan. Yeah, a lot to do, a little time. Mm -hmm. I have been now working like almost an hour, maybe 15 minutes or maybe an hour. Yeah, like actively just doing that. And I'm getting discouraged because I don't know. The other day I was watching one YouTube video about um, uh, the girl who is doing this uh, like markets, like a full-time job. I'm making the plushies also like not like a real full-time job she does that all and she was like talking there like she was running out of the stock and she just like i have to do this this evening and she's like off she goes and she starts doing that thing and then she comes back saying that she has been working all evening and she has made this 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 like mentioning all those things that she has done within one evening and i'm just wondering how how on earth Humanly is it's humanly possible to make all this with your own hands within the time given because I don't know what, but whenever I start crocheting, the time I don't I think it speeds up so fastly. I don't know, it's just like phew, and I it's our past and I have I feel like I have not done anything. I don't know, am I the only one who has this kind of a problem or or is there anybody else like that? Because this is sometimes like I feel I have so many ideas. I know I can do that, but it takes forever for me to do that. And yeah, 
I wish, I wonder if I can do it a full time job when I know that I need to make a lot of things, but I'm just not capable of making them so fast as I should. So yeah, this is kind of something that has been uh, ha I have been having on my mind. But nevertheless, as I was thinking this, <laughs> within this time, I'm sorry, sorry I'm holding my head, but I'm having a headache. I don't know why. I think I'm from the coffee or something. But nevertheless, uh, I just finished up my seahorses. So I told you that I have made everything just that I needed to put the details together and finish it up. And look, I have two pink ones. Pink. I like the color choice. I think this is the the most uh, the 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 best thing about the seahorses because of the color. Uh, you know, if it would be any other color, it wouldn't be that cute. So I want to make two more, but this time I want to make like the bodies being turquoise. I have a turquoise color. I want to use this one, and uh, then I have a little bit left from the these two guys. Uh, I will use then I yesterday actually made one <laughs> and I need to make another one then the little these flips sort of how you call them I don't know and the nosies I still have to make so I want to finish up today with the seahorses and be done I will have all together four seahorses I just wanted to say another thing so I'm I don't know I don't think I have the uh wait a minute so I just wanted to say uh, that uh, yesterday came the yarn that I had ordered. I needed badly the skin color tones uh, because uh, I'm making the, um, where is it? Uh, I have to make still uh, the mermaids and I have only three tails only. I have three tails and I have only this left for the skin tone. So I think one more mermaid can be made out of this and then there is it that's it and i still want to make a pirate and a witch and they all need the skin tones so i checked the baby snuggle there so i checked the baby snuggle there's no baby snuggle there left uh for the sales like i i need to wait for the next sales uh, i don't like the honey bunny at all mm, that's why i didn't order anything from there and uh, so what was i left without nothing barely and um I went again to my German, this uh, German, German, German site, not a site, but I'm ordering through the Amazon, but it's called like this, Friedes Zweite Chenille Yarn, but it feels so very velvety. I just want to say, I have been now working, these are made from uh, from that one as well, and comparing, like I have made this one from this uh, this German one, and this is from the Baby Snuggle. And they are like day and night. This one is like a, a baby snuggle. You know, most likely if you have made something, you know how it feels. Like snuggle, snuggly and soft. Yeah, but like chunky. And I can't even explain it. Like soft and chunky. Yeah, but this one, it has like a silky touch to it. I can't say any, but I even was thinking, how would it be to make a lovely, like um, a drapey kind of a shawl? Surely not for the winter, but for the autumn or the uh, springtime, it would feel very nice. It really, it has a very nice silky touch to it and it's more delicate. I'm using the 5mm hook, but I think it would have been better with the 4.5. But I have been checking here, nothing comes out, nothing pops out. So everything is neat and quite uh, accurately made, I believe. So yeah, it all should be good. But other than that, I guess I could use even 4.5 millimeter hook. So I wanted to say just the, some words about this color and um, about this yarn. And I, yeah, yesterday came two skins I ordered from this kind of a very light uh, skin tone color. I think it should be nice. And then very similar, also this kind of two. So if you compare with this one and this one, they are almost the same. But one has more pinky thing and this a uh, pinky color to it, and this one is more like apricot or something peachy color to it. So I've got four skeins for the um, for the something light to make to work on the skin tones. I order like I never I don't know how the yarn color is gonna look like. So I'm gonna I'm sometimes ordering um like blindly and then i will know what color it is when it comes and i ordered one skein of this one but it is really peachy like comparing with these colors it pops out immediately so i don't think this would be very good for the like um what's it called like a like a what do I, I have a paint from the <laughs> crafting with my kid so yeah it might be too dark like so too bright for the 
Unless it's some kind of piggy. <laughs> I can make piggy from that. So, and I have also ordered the red one. And the red one I ordered to finish out my, my crab. Here's the, um, what's it called? Um, the free pattern for the crab. And I have made the body and I ran out of the col uh, color. I need the baby snuggle color for this. No, it was not baby snuggle. It was dolphin uh, baby. Baby, yeah. Dolphin baby. But uh, I ran out of it and I was checking to order it. And the delivery cost on Amazon was so high. So I was like, mm, should I order it? Should I not? So that's why I went for this one. And I added one uh, or two skins of red. But I feel that mm, it's not quite the same. I just don't need to make the these crab, what's it called, spikes and everything, the legs and the eyes. I don't know. This one has this silkiness, this shine to it. And baby, uh, this velvet, Himalaya velvet doesn't have that shine to it. The Himalaya baby is more like a baby snuggle. So, yeah, I don't know if I will be able to finish the baby, the, the crab. Yeah, the crab. Other than that, yeah, I have at least finished. I was, the only thing that I'm confused about this, should I make a little collar to it around the neck, like a little lovely color to it? I know it has already a lot of details, like this one is already giving a lot. I put around these blue ones, then the snout, and then these ones, and then the belly button and everything. It has already like a lot of details in it. In it. But I'm like thinking, if I'm adding up any detail whatsoever that I'm adding up to that little animal, it can be something that I can charge more, right? I can add up one or two euros more and the price would be, I could, I could, I could profit more. But then again, would anybody buy it? That's another story. So I'm going to be thinking of selling these ones for like 15 euros or 18 I cannot decide which one I think more better. But if I maybe quickly make one small collar around it, then maybe I could put it actually for 18. Yeah. So that's it. I have to go and pick up my boy. And I have a headache. I have to drink some medicine or something. So painkiller to get it away. Otherwise, I will not survive till the end of the day. And I have to clean the... I have to quickly wash the floor. Because since I'm crocheting, I have to clean up every goddamn day. The yarn, the bits and pieces of the yarn is everywhere. I don't know how to keep it up. So yesterday I managed only to finish like four uh, the the other two turkeys seahorses. I was trying to I like uh I wanted to go on with the details as well, but everybody was already sleeping, and you know it sets you in a mood like you also could kind of lie down and rest. But the thing is that I wanted to actually add up the details but when I'm working in with the head the neck light in the dark there's always a problem sewing the things nicely maybe yeah because of not seeing so good the whole you know what you're working with so I tried once I tried the second time I thought no I'm gonna leave I will make all the details so I make all the all this what's called the fin the that is around on the head and the fins in the side by the sides and the stout or snout how how is it called I don't know what is this nose part <laughs> I made all the details. I just need to sew them on. I need to finish up the uh, the sea stars for the hair for the mermaid, and I started working on the next mermaid. But I needed to have to make the uh, hands now. So yeah, I, I I quit by the part where I have to add up the hands because I have to make the hands first. So I'm gonna work on that as fast as fast as I can. But before then, I have sat down by the computer. I want to like uh, send a couple of emails to some different other events that are happening um checking all the time on the facebook they're constantly changing i want to try and see if i can make up myself or sign myself up for like if not one then maybe even no, I, okay if not i would perfectly would want to be having two but uh, two markets still till the end of the year and then then yeah and then I will see what I will do next. I will. I know what I want to do next, but I, I first need to be sure that I'm going in the right direction. So let me just do some things on the computer and then I will continue with the crochet because I definitely need to wash the floor before I go back home. Uh, go so yes, hey guys, it's uh, 25th of October, next day already, and I am super excited for one simple reason that uh, first of all, yesterday evening, my, my man came with a car, with a new car, uh, home it was late in the evening I was already angry on him I was already getting sad you know oh, just be not talking to him or something 
And then he just calls and says, come downstairs, come downstairs. What's wrong with him? Why would I come downstairs? It was already like after like after 10 or so and everybody's put to sleep. I'm in my pajamas already. So, and I said, okay, let me go downstairs. And yeah, we have a, it's not a new car or anything, but it is the first car in our household. And uh, it's a blessing. It's really nice. You know, you get so fast used to the things that are, you know, giving you comfort and everything. So yeah, it was kind of a nice moment and uh, we made a small circle around, came back home because, well, obviously kids are at home and we can't go anywhere far, but like at least five minute circle around the neighborhood and we are back. So, and today, this morning, everybody had to be taken, you know, the kindergarten, the though it's around the corner, literally, <laughs> there's nothing to drive. And then the little one to the daycare mom. And then I was dropping back home and I realized, my goodness, I finally have this my time. This what I have been craving for quite some time now that I can actually plan my time. I have like a, from 9 till 11.30 something. Okay, now it's already 9.30. So till 11.30, two hours till I have left to do some things around. Uh, so remember guys, I mentioned that I was working on a teddy bear and I kind of finished it, but it was like the nose was not good and this and that and I was not satisfied. There was not like a finished touch to it. So the only thing that I could come up with is to make is a, is a scarf and I wanted to make also the hat, but I ended up, I just, I'm wasting too much time on that and I don't want to do that. So what I did today, I, I re redid, redid, redid. Um, just I made it again the nose fresh because it was not holding good something was not right uh, and uh, I made it fresh so now it's all good and I made a scarf for the teddy bear so it's teddy bear. it's actually a pretty huge project like check it out it looks so sad I know that it looks so sad I'm kind of, I don't know, but I have like a, I don't, I can't, I, I don't understand, I have a mixed feelings about this, as if I like it, and as if I don't, but there is something about him, for real, so, and yeah, there's nothing much, no tail to him, no nothing, as I mentioned already the things that I didn't like about this, that I, if I would have known, I would have done it in a back loops, and then added up a nice edging, like to, 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 to like, point out that it's a sweater from here on and the thing is that i have learned about this pattern which is quite interesting for me i never knew that there is such a possibility when i was making the head because head it goes separately from the body and then you have to sew it i started making the head and i couldn't understand is it i'm starting from the top or from the bottom so it actually starts from the bottom and you're building it up to the top and i at some point in the lower part here um uh at the at this part uh, you have a row with the back loops in the head on the head when you were making the head there's suddenly a row with the back loops for no reason and I couldn't understand why would there be a row with the back loops and then I realized it's simply genius because exactly that row where you made the back loops is the one you have to attach to the body I don't know how about you but it's always a problem for me uh, when I'm attaching sewing the head I know that I have to follow that row and everything just neatly to sew it I can never make it perfect I don't it doesn't look good I can start in the same row but it will always go somewhere else and it's driving me nuts I hate that part so much I can make the head to be so neat but when it comes to sewing I can mess up easily so and then I was like okay I said okay then there is a back loop that means the head cannot go anywhere. It's going to be stuck on that thing, on the body. And I just need to crochet around the back loop and that's it. And it was amazing. The only thing that I guess I didn't stuff at first here enough. I don't know what happened. So I did another row over 
and like pressed it a little bit down to to have that like a head that he's like that even if now if i'm the more i'm pressing the more he's like whole character is changing so but now he's like this like kind of stretched a little bit head so i did as neat as i could the the sewing part it's not bad i think it's pretty okay but i guess uh no, it's kind of neat it's okay but he needed something right so i made this scarf it's a simple long long uh single crochet and then um chain and then a single crochet row i used the same burgundy color the same i used for the trousers and added um white fluffy something to it there is like a i have a very thin yarn of oh, the fuzzy fuzzy fuzziness of something <laughs> And I'm just tying it and there is a lovely little bear. I don't know how much I should charge him for. I kind of like him. And and the funny thing that my little boy, he likes him too. He was dragging him around. It was like, um, I'm kind of, of course, worried because I don't want any toy to be spoiled. I'm going to take him, if not today, then definitely tomorrow with the um, things that I have already made downstairs to the basement, put it in the box. Um yeah so they don't get spoiled but i was like happy that he has found the toy so most likely i'm gonna make him one bear or if it's not gonna be sold it might become his toy the only thing is yeah ah uh, good morning guys it's 26th of october next day and i'm i'm trying I'm, I'm getting into the panic mode that i don't have enough things and i don't know i can be crocheting every single moment that i have and i still feel I, it's not enough i don't know how i'm gonna Anyway, so um, yesterday evening after finishing the bear, I was working on the bees. These ones are the ones that I had left from the previous time. So these ones are like the ones that I had already. And then yesterday I made three more bees of these. They don't have the wings. Uh, yeah, I quickly build them up till the last row here where the dark one is. And then uh, I made the eyes, the nose, uh, the cheeks afterwards. And then filled and closed the top. Now the last one is left the wings. It has a different yarn. I didn't have this baby snuggle yarn. Uh, you can see the baby snuggle is like more solid. It doesn't have the shine. But I didn't have any dark brown anymore left. So the darkest brown that I had was the shiny velvety yarn. It's a little bit thinner, but well, I don't think it's gonna be seen or you felt or you anything. So yeah, I will have only two these ones and then three I have to use of this. Uh, and then I thought uh, I have this pink and I have this burgundy uh, color and I started working also on the bees uh, like girly bees which would be more pinky like uh, maybe for some girls that like I still have left two I couldn't yesterday it was like two o'clock at night I was just knocking out my eyes were painting and everything and uh, no enough with this one let me just finish it up so I have to quickly finish up while my little ones are all uh, where they are I want to finish this up and then I want to continue today with the turtles because I want to use the same color combinations and just yeah I need some turtles I don't have any but you know what's the worst part you constantly keep seeing you know while you're working you have this um, YouTube on you have some Pinterest emails coming in saying oh check this out check that out and you have so many patterns all the time in front of you that I'm going crazy I don't know how I want to make so many things I want to have so many things and then when you realize that you can make as much as you can you get angry <laughs> ah, and another hey guys it's the 27th of October it's Friday uh, one week to go to the market and I'm I'm yesterday I had a panic attack but it's okay it's okay I'm trying to stay cool um, so today ah, is all about the turtles I wanted to start yesterday because I finished the bees and I was planning in my head that I'll put everybody to sleep and I'll start working on the turtles. But guess what? I knocked out with the little one because, yeah, well, lately he's not falling asleep so good. So I fell asleep with him because it was taking so much time for him to fall asleep finally that I dozed off with him. So I woke up after five o'clock in the morning and I went at once to start <laughs> making the turtles. But yeah, I had to now take care of the breakfast, feed the little one, pack him to the daycare and uh, his papa has taken him to the daycare mom. I have a little bit time now for myself. Uh, 
though my little youngest daughter is also at home she doesn't have kindergarten today but it's all good we're gonna walk later outside we'll go out for a walk to pick up the little one it's gonna be all good but today is all about the turtles i'm gonna make all day only turtles so for the turtles um uh, i'm gonna be using the do-it-yourself fluffies uh, pattern uh the free pattern of the turtles there I have made one or two before and they kind of turned out pretty good so I'm gonna stick to them. They are land turtles but I'm gonna try later also work on some uh, sea turtles but for now it's gonna be only the land turtles. So my first one has turned out to be like this. A little little turtle. Looks kind of cute. I like the size that it's not the big so this is something that I can uh, give, a, um, uh, give uh, on a sale for uh, it's not going to be a big big something so i'm planning of giving it either for 12 euros or i don't know or only 10 i'm gonna have to think through maybe if i put some nice ribbon to them like make something some cuteness because now they look, look very plain and simple right so i'm thinking what else to add up a little something detail like i don't know a little heart uh on the shell or something to make it more cuter but the most important thing is that um yesterday okay already for some time when i was thinking about the toys that i have made so far i have to say that i have nothing for the the smallest one ones uh for the babies because all of the toys mostly have uh, what i have done are with um safety eyes and yeah of course it's easy to work with the safety eyes you pluck it in and that's it and it's done but I definitely wanted to make something for the babies. I had one idea. Maybe I will still have the time to make it. I don't know. But for now, I decided the turtles will gonna be are gonna go without the safety eyes. They're gonna be just I embroidered the simple sleeping like a line, the sleeping eyes. I don't know. I'm not gonna go with any eyebrows or anything. As simple as possible. That's why I don't think that I can ask more than uh, ten euros, maybe twelve, if I add up some details to them. So I have chosen different colors that I'm going to using. This one was the one with the uh, yeah, light colors. These ones, I might make a few of them more. Then I want to uh, do something white and blue. I want to do, I found this kind of color. It's like a, like a very bright green, yellow. I don't know, even know. And I have, I have no idea what I can possibly do with it. But maybe I can put it together with this green and it would calm it down a little bit. And maybe it could be such a combo. Then I want to make some, uh, uh, like the bees I have made, light pink and this burgundy together. I want to make something of the sunflower vibe and the bee vibe, like this kind of a. And then I also have this, like a pale uh, yellow and this kind of a reddish brownish something. So I don't know, maybe I come up with some other ideas on the go. But for now, this is what I want to be working on. <laughs> So let's see at the end of the day how many turtles can I possibly make. Wish me good luck. <laughs> hey guys. So <laughs> uh, it's already the next day. Um, I was working all day on the turtles. Starting 5 o'clock in the morning, I think, till the late uh, evening. Then I put everybody to sleep, fell asleep with the kids. And then I woke up in the night. I worked from like 2 to 5 or so. And then... Yeah, and this morning I made one more. Basically, it's all about the turtles. Yesterday, but it is all between, you know, cooking, looking after the kids, changing diapers and this and that, attending to a million other things. So, but I'm very pleased with what I have made. I have made all together seven little turtles. I could not have made more. Though I start liking this whole turtle thing and I would have made maybe more if I would have more strength and time but they they are a whole bunch of a sleeping little turtles so let me show you a bit uh so first i made these two kind of girly uh girly uh turtles i also sh uh, i told you that i i don't want to use the safety eyes to be safe for the children for the small babies uh and but i changed the um, the thread i use so it's kind of like uh, more pops out two sleeping eyes and a mouth I was not sure about that, but well, just to make something. And I think it turned out quite well, as if he's smiling in the sleep. I put a little ribbon around to make it just more cuter. And I think it's a perfect little gift, even if somebody wants to buy it as a gift. Uh, so this one is kind of a girly purple thing. Then I have the pink one with a burgundy. So these ones. Um, then I wanted to make like bee style. 
but I really don't like this kind of a yarn mixed together for the bees it was still okay but here the shell is kind of shining I don't know it's cute but it's just my preference something in my head I would have loved it if it would be also from the dark brown baby snuggle but it is what it is so then the ones that I love the most which I just even made two uh it these are these two guys they are completely two the same uh the yellow and um with the, like a reddish orange they remind me of some kind of a autumn warmth and like such a lovely warm colors i don't know absolutely lovely two little little two per turtles then yesterday night i made also uh the green one with the same yellow on in the back like the body and then uh, the green shell and then yeah this morning i made also the blue one like and the thing is like yesterday i was telling you that i will make there was like something very uh white one with a with a bright blue or something but when i started making them look at them they have these kind of a, like a muted colors very nice down to earth colors and that's what i like about that i don't want to even anything bright about them now the thing is that i would have loved to make um sea turtles from the pink and blue color turquoise color that i have for the seahorses but i don't think it will be possible but let me see let me see uh, i want to say just on the topic while we are still on the topic of the turtle let me get something and show to you but right now on the list i have finished with my turtles everything is done uh, and i want to do the next thing that i was supposed to already start this morning but we were in the library with the kids and we then eat then to put to sleep then yeah uh <laughs> and my man just came and took the little ones away and i'm like oh, i'm so happy now i have some little time for myself i hope at least like two hours um so i have i want to, i was speaking with the other day with my mom and and she was like talking we were talking about this market and everything and she was like oh you need some some kind of christmasy already things inside there I thought, yeah, you kind of may be right, but it's like the beginning of November. I don't feel yet this, um, you know, the Christmas vibe, but I do feel like there must be something that will be like neutral, but it can be also added to the Christmas theme. So, and I'm seeing on Etsy that it's very popular to make these gnomes. Gnomes everywhere. They are so beautiful. Some of them, there was one woman, I don't know the name of uh, it just popped into my head but there was she has so many gnomes she i think she's making only gnomes but they are just wonderful like pieces of art so many beautiful gnomes there uh, but i needed something fast something quick and i don't know how to make them i have never made a single gnome in my life but i need them right now <laughs> so i uh i bought this pattern i like that it was already in a, from the plush for the plush yarn meant to be so it would ease my life and it would be like adjusted already to that no surprises should be there um yeah i have the pattern has been lying since there and uh well i'm gonna now get on with it and try to make a few of these i hope it's gonna work out because the thing that is scaring me the most is the beard part because i have never done the beard like that and like but i already said my daughter i said you have to you can go out for a walk now the house is empty <laughs> now let me make the bases of these gnomes when you come back you will help me with these beards because that one can she can do as well right so uh, let's hope that we can make some few gnomes to take to the market hey guys um i'm sorry for the background i just quickly sneaked out while the little ones are still eating uh but uh i wanted to share update you regarding my gnome so uh yesterday i told you that i'm gonna start working on the gnomes i have never done any and um yeah it's the next day the evening of the next day and uh, i made uh, the body part and i asked my daughter to help she was watching tv and was cutting the strands for the beard and uh, yeah i tried to attach them uh, but as much as i did like the they said in the pattern they would be still coming out popping out on because i used a dark uh, dark blue color yarn so the white strands were popping these attachment places and then we took some time to find the brush with which we can make it to look be, to be fuzzy and everything so yeah it was kind of taking a lot of time till we actually figured the whole thing and then i had to put my little ones to sleep so i fell asleep with them i woke up and i found that she has uh, done her best with the uh, with the beard 
So at night I sat down, I filled it in and I made the hat attached to it and I have one gnome made. It's not yet fully made because I'm going to be cutting still the yarn, uh, but I want to make first the way it is. And there's another thing that I, well, I'm going to show. But anyway, here's my gnome. Here's my gnome. He looks very lovely. He's like this and then the beard is attached. Yeah, we did our best that it's really, you have to be very tight to the nose so that nothing, uh, it's not, especially if you use a dark uh, skin, that it would not be popping out. Other than that, it's very nice. I didn't stuff it very tightly. Quite, It's quite squishy and everything. So yeah, it's the hat is almost, there's nothing just to make a form of it. But this one is also very squishy and lightly, lightly stuffed. <clears throat> I really liked it. I really liked how it has turned out. The hands and the nosy, and I'm very happy about my, my gnome. The only thing is that uh, I didn't like um, the, what can I show you here? is the place where I would go the last round and you can see there's like this bump when you finish the row and it doesn't look nice you can see that it's where it's ended and it's like my fault but I don't I don't, I don't have the time to do that I already sewed it uh, to uh, to the gnome and then I really like it popped out into my eyes and I thought mm, I have to change something so I decided that the next ones I'm gonna make I will be doing the reverse single crochet to the other side making like a very nice ridge around the like the last row and uh, then I will be crocheting to uh, add a uh, sewing uh, the hat to the to the body. So obviously it would be nice to have this other po uh, this other filling. I don't have forgotten how what was the name of it to make it like more heavier maybe. But other than that, I like that it's light. Uh, it uh, it stands anyway on its own, and uh, it, you can wash it. Yeah, it's kind of nothing about it. I still have to cut it so trim the beard because it's still too long. But I want to see. Uh, because on my list, yesterday I woke up at night and I thought I have to make more. It has turned out so good. I need to make more. I was going through the colors that I still have, how to like arrange, how to go, because the hat has to be, I think, darker than the body. And I was looking what I can combine and everything. So, ah, and in the pattern, there are two possibilities. You can make this beardy man and you can make the woman like a gnome with the two braids by the both sides. So, and uh, let me show you in the picture once again. This is how you can make them both. So, and I thought, why don't they both have, like, be in couple for each color? So, I made this one. Now, oh, it's Sunday. We were outside with the kids. But while we was driving in the car, I managed to make one more buddy. I have to attach the nosy and the hands. Well, I have to first make them, but then I have to attach them. And hopefully, my daughter will help to, to make, uh, make the braids. So uh, then there will be another combo. I have made these dark yellow, dark yellow for a, a gnome um, opa <laughs> and gnome oma. And the hats I'm going to make for this one, wait, I think like this, like like pumpkin more a type of uh, uh, gnomes. So this is one. Then I have one of this. I have to still make the other one. Uh, this gonna, is going to go with, a, I wanted to do something green. I like this muted green. So these is going to be the, another couple. And then the last one is going to be like this. Because I have this one and I want to use it. Because I don't know how the tone is not my favorite. And for that one I'm going to use a, a darker this one a hat. So yeah. Hey guys, it's Monday. I'm sorry for my looks. I'm just today... So many things needs to be done, and I feel like I'm, I'm the closer the date approaches of the market, the more chaotic, more <sighs> I don't know, distracted, and everything I become. And it is so hard to focus on the things that I need to do. I don't know, I keep telling myself it's just the goddamn market, it's just where people come to have some good time, and it's no reason to be stressed up. But I'm also waiting for the costume that all the time I'm like I remind myself that it's important because the woman told me to have a uh, to have a costume for this market, and I have ordered it. And I don't think I don't know. On Friday they tried to to reach us. Uh, the career guy had come. We were not at the ho house, obviously. I guess so. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, I hope that I can pick it up today, and hopefully it's all okay, and I can wear it for that event. Um, other than that. I'm trying not to think that tomorrow is even the Halloween and I have to plan something with the kids to go outside. 
I just, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much, my goodness. Oh, but I have to just take call. So yesterday, everybody, we, we were, yesterday was Sunday. We were outside. We went to the, like a, na uh, like a national, like a, like a, not the national, what I'm talking about, nature resort. Nature resort, uh, where some animals, deers are walking around and everything. Like a lot of forest, a lot of fresh air, a lot of where to walk and climb and everything. And everybody was so tired after this fresh air <laughs> that everybody dozed off to sleep yesterday very fast, <clears throat> which I'm very happy about. And of course, I was the only one left still doing something. So I showed you yesterday that I made this my little gnome. I cut his beard because I didn't like that he is so long hanging. So I have one and then I managed to make another one. Uh, 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 um, how is it called a uh, uh, frau um, a lady lady gnome now they are two together they are i absolutely love how the, these braids turn out because they look more neater than the beard per uh, the beard part beard is made more like i don't know it's hard to cut them so that they would be even and i don't have that brush which makes it so fuzzy so it is as it is uh, and then i have this one so that's how much i did yesterday I just realized that this hat is, is one is higher than the other one. How is that possible? So I was doing them exactly the same way. Mystery. And then yesterday I also finished the yellow with a with a red, like a pumpkin color. And I need to share it. It's the most beautiful one. Look at it. Ain't it a cutie? Oh, I just love how this little oh oh my gnome, or how you call it, turned out. It looks so cute. I tried adding up another edging around it. It doesn't look perfectly neat, but it's okay. I don't know. I want to give it like for, for what is it here? Um, I was planning to put them for 15 euros, but maybe I could add a little flower here on the hat and add up for 18 euros or so, because they are pretty time consuming. They are easy to make, it's clear to, but when it comes to the braid and attaching nicely this, this hat, it's kind of tricky and yeah, you want to be also neat and everything. So I am also, I have made basically everything for the, um, for her, for her other, other soulmate. I have the hat. I just need to attach it yesterday I was just too tired to do that so I will have at least four I don't know if I should make more I have two which are almost done they have everything the body the nose the hands yesterday I also made and I'm not I'm not sure should I go with the braided or should I go with the beard ones because I like where the braids more better they look more neater so this is what I want to do but and the other thing, guys, I think I'm going to say stop now because I feel like this video can t go on and on and on and on me sharing the things that I have made and just like, you know, blabbering all the time of what I have made and, and, and my process of doing things. But I think I'm going to stop now because uh, I'm going to make a separate video. So uh, a separate video, uh, most likely on tomorrow. Tomorrow I might go... Uh, downstairs after dropping everybody to the kindergarten wherever they should be and I will do the inventory I have to write down everything I have to price everything add the tags yeah and just uh, write down to understand how much and what I have this is my plan for tomorrow so I'm gonna take you then guys with me and that is gonna be a separate video because it most likely will take some time to to show you like in one video all the things that I'm gonna take and well, I hope that that video will also include my my experience with the market, how uh, my setup, how 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 did it go, and everything. So uh, this one I'm gonna finish up now. You have seen some of the things that I have been making for the market. So yeah, but I hope to see you on the, my next video as well. Now take good care of yourselves. Uh, and please, please, please send some positive vibes over my to my side because I'm literally freaking out. I'm not scared, but I'm very worried and I'm stressed. I feel that. I'm trying to work on myself very hard. I have already told my man uh, yesterday, I said, I might become weird this week. <laughs> and closer to Friday, I might just be going completely mm, insane. So don't mind me. Ignore me. Now, don't ignore me. You just have to tell me that all is going to be good because if you ignore me, I'll also explode. So, 
yeah just bear with me and i hope all is going to be good so take care for now and until the next time ciao